Welcome back, this is the Amajack. Today we got Gunslinger Ashford Asylum Suicidal. My sister yesterday, she got a, uh... The mission is underway. She ordered a chair, recently. She ordered a chair and, uh, it came yesterday. Big box, 22 kilograms. Of course, I'm the one that has to carry it up the stairs. It is uh, an inconvenience. But, uh, everybody else in this house has a bad back, so... I'm the one that uh, that kind of gets stuck with the. Can you carry this up the stairs? Normally I say no, but if I say no, then there's just a big chair sitting in the the lobby, and that's gonna annoy me. So either that, or they're gonna make like a whole bunch of noise taking it up, and then I'm gonna hear complaints about their backs for the next like few weeks, and there's gonna be scratches on the walls, and everybody's gonna be complaining about it. So I'm like, whatever, I'll just take this dang chair up the stairs. So I carried the uh, the 22 kilogram chair up the stairs. Well, I mean, like 22 kilograms isn't like that heavy. It's like 50-ish pounds. It's not like that heavy, you know. I I can pick that up and carry it up the stairs. It's not the end of the world, but I was a uh, still a pain in the butt, you know. Not necessarily a fun task. I'm not the uh, I'm not the strongest person around. I don't do uh, weight training. I do uh, cardio at best. Um, and, uh, man, there's just a mosh pit over here. And uh, she set it up yesterday. <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> she, she took it out of the box and started, like, spreading the pieces all over the place. And she's, like, screwing in the screws with her fingers. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, there should be a screwdriver in the box somewhere. She's like, no, there isn't. And she looks at the uh, the instruction manual and it doesn't like say that it comes with a screwdriver. So like, she didn't think it did. But I, I, I'm I'm looking at it. And I'm thinking, no, there's no way they don't send you a screwdriver with this, like an Allen key or something. You know, like there there's there's something in here to to help you assemble it. Okay, like there always is. Okay. Um, so we end up looking around and, and yeah, sure enough, there was a, a little baggie full of, uh, varying sizes of Allen keys. Allen wrenches, whatever they're called. Um, so she starts, like, putting it together, <laughs> and it takes, it takes, like, an hour, hour and a half, before she gets, uh, like, the base screwed on. And now she has to attach the, um, the back. Like the chairs back to the uh, to the seats, and uh, she just like can't manage to get it to fit because she never she never assembled a chair for it. And if you guys have never assembled a chair, I don't want you thinking that my sister's like some dummy here. Okay, chairs are like scary to assemble. Okay, they they're not, especially if the instructions are poor and they were. They're they're not a it's it's not a very simple task, but uh, she couldn't get the the back. Uh, attached. She, she ended up like struggling with it for like an hour. <laughs> Eventually, she uh, she asked for help. She doesn't. She wanted to do it herself, right? She didn't want help or whatever, so I wasn't. So I wasn't offering. If she needed help, she'd ask. You know. She ended up needing help with the uh, with with putting the chairs back on. And uh, so I end up I end up putting it on. And the thing is, is when you're putting the chairs back on. You can't be nice to it, you know what I mean? Like, you have to s just shove it in there and and put it where it goes. <laughs> you know, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't got to be nice to it. And when you're somebody who hasn't been building with this kind of stuff, you know, like who hasn't been putting together chairs or computers, monitors, like whatever, if you haven't been doing this kind of stuff, you're going to be scared of it, you know? You don't want to break it, especially because it's like, you know, this several hundred dollar investment that you just made. You really don't want to break it, right? Um, but like, you know, they're designed to hold a few hundred pounds. You're not going to break because you just like, you know, shoved on them a little bit, you know, like, they're, they're fine. Um, so anyway, I got the, I got the back of the chair on, screwed it in, attached it, and I was like, all right, you're on your own. And, uh, it's a, it took her a good, like, another hour, hour and a half or so. But she did manage to get it attached. All together and stuff. Over Throughout the process, she did, uh, make a couple stops at, uh, at her fridge. Picked up, uh, 
a little, a little bit of booze, perhaps. It wasn't necessarily helping, but uh, it, it did make it a more fun experience anyway. Um, and then uh, she was assembling it like right next to the stairs, too, like at the top of the stairs, because that's where I left the box, because I, I brought it up the stairs. I'm like, yeah, the box is right here. You can shove it to wherever you want. I'm not carrying it anymore, okay? So she just took it apart there and assembled it there. Uh, so she finally gets it assembled. She's, uh, you know, been 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 having a, a little bit of uh, a boost. She's not drunk, right? Like a, a, a little bit, right? Um, and and she ends up like sitting on the chair, <laughs> just just a few feet away from the top of the stairs. And I'm like, right. I'm just gonna stand on the stairs just just in case. <laughs> just just in case, because uh, I didn't I didn't quite trust the. Uh, them wheels with a uh, slightly, you know, frustrated and, and slightly uh, under the influence sister right next to the stairs. But regardless, it was it was like a, a two-hour process and lots of laughs along the way. Again, if you guys have never assembled a chair, okay, it's not uh, it's not an easy process, okay? <laughs> it's not it's it's not a it's not straightforward. It's it's a complicated thing. There's a lot of pieces to it. The things don't really like fit right, and you have this like fabric that's covering up all the holes, and you can't see anything too clearly. And it's a, it's a frustrating endeavor. Okay. If you have assembled like a chair before, it's a very simple process because you've already made all the mistakes and you've learned everything that you have to learn to know how to do it. But uh, your first your first chair assembly, it's not it's not an easy process. But uh, it was it was a fun process. I got to, I got to have a few laughs, and uh, when when she was done, she was like uh, she looked at the cat and and she says to it, "This isn't yours. You get the old chair, but this is my chair." And uh, I'm like, yeah, "Yeah, yeah, no, the cat's taking it. <laughs> the cat's taking all the chairs in this house. You know, you don't you don't get a say in the matter. Okay, the cat the cat's the owner of everything that can be sit upon." Which includes, you know, cups, chairs, tables. I mean, we, we keep her off the table, but she still goes on it. You know, whatever you name it, the cat sits on it, okay? Sits on it or tries to drink out of it or eat it. One of those, one of those three. Those, those are the three things, okay? If you have a thing, your cat's going to do one of those to it. But, uh, yeah, we woke up, like, this morning, and the cat's already, like, sitting on the chair sleeping. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's, that's about what I expected. New chair, cat's gonna sit on it. You know? It's just, uh, it's just the way she goes. My sister's happy with the chair, though. That's a, that's a good thing, of course, right? It's always good when you're, when you're pleased with the purchase you made. She likes it. I'm not a fan. I hate it. <laughs> but I'm not the one that has to sit in it, so I don't matter. It's got like uh, this weird like lumbar support that I'm not super into, and then it kind of like hugs you when you're sitting in it. It's like um, it's kind of kind of like a racing chair, kind of like a DX racer. It's a little bit less gamery than like a DX racer, but if you're picturing a DX racer in your head. They're pretty. They're pretty. They're pretty similar. Max Nomic or whatever it is as well. They're they're pretty similar. And uh, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not too fond of those personally. I just don't like them. But she's uh she's she's super pleased with it. She got to put it all together. Felt a little proud of uh, being able to assemble it all by herself. And uh, she won't take any dissent on that opinion. And. Uh, yeah, that's what matters, right? I don't think she had an off. I don't think she had a chair for her desk before either. So like schoolwork was like a pain in the butt, and if she ever wanted to play games or anything, it was a pain in the butt. She's in college for can't remember what, but uh, having having a, a proper space to, to do some some homework on was was definitely a a, a good upgrade, I'm sure. Come on. 
Okay, I want I want this rock instead. Yeah, the rock's way better. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I need a new chair too. I was I was hoping when uh, when she said that she ordered a chair. I didn't know what chair she ordered until she opened it up and put it together. Well, until she opened it up. I I you know I could see the pieces. They're the big pieces when you get a chair, right? There's a lot of little pieces and a lot of well, a couple of big pieces. You got your uh, your seat part, you got your back part, and then you got the um, like the star, the shuriken, you know. Money, anyone? <laughs> uh, the 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 part that the wheels go on, you know, like at the bottom. It's like a shuriken, big heavy shuriken. You, 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 so you can tell what kind of chair it is when when you got it, right? It's not it's not that complicated. Um, but I was hoping when she said that she had uh, she had ordered a chair that it'd be something I'd be able to sit in and be like, "Ooh, I like this. I'm gonna get one." But no, nah, it wasn't. I might get that uh, that Herman Miller Logitech gamer chair. It's only like sixty nine hundred American dollars. You know, that's that's well within my budget. I kid, of course. It's well, I mean, it fits in my budget. It's not not a responsible purchase. But I'm, I'm more into like uh, that that kind of stuff, you know, like the the proper ergo, breathable, mashy kind of stuff. I'm a little bit uh, fat, so I do have to <laughs> like worry about making sure that uh, there is a uh, like the the weight limit on it is uh, is fine for now. For now. But. Uh, yeah, no, I don't like those those gamery chairs. I take uh, I take a couch over that, honestly. It's just um, it's just not for me. I like chairs that have uh, adjustable armrests for sure. Adjustable armrests are a big one, and they have to be like 3D dimensional. Okay, I want up, down, front, back, side to side. Okay, I need I need. A, I need to be able to put them armrests wherever I want them, okay? Because uh, one, one thing that I hate is when I sit in a chair and the armrests are just like too far apart, so I don't even get to use them because like my arms are like so much closer. Or when the armrests are just too close and I sit in it and I feel like squished by the armrests, you know? So I, I like to have... Uh, no, the, the the second one is a problem that doesn't happen often. Most mostly with like uh, like kitchen table chairs and stuff. Have you checked your but uh, so. with with office chairs, they're typically just like way too far apart for me. I don't I don't even get, even get to sit on them comfortably. The chair that I currently have has the armrest at a position that that feels pretty natural for me. I get to kind of rest my arms on them fairly uh, fairly nicely, which is very convenient. But I'm also like, you know, maybe I just want a new desk and then no armrests. You know, with with the with a nice big wide desk and no armrests, you can kind of pull your chair right up and then just use the table as the armrest as long as your chair is at the right height, right? You don't really need an armrest if you can just pull your you know use your table as an armrest because then then if you don't want to sit, you know, the way that you sit on a chair if you want to sit sideways or whatever you can do that you know like the, the options are there you never feel like you're breaking the armrests by like leaning on them too much you know because armrests aren't really built for you to like I don't know like like if I ever want to sit sideways and watch some stuff on my uh on my computer, I, f I feel a little bit concerned about putting too much of my weight on the on the armrest. They're not really built for, you know, bodies. They're they're built for arms. <laughs> so uh, it's a little bit inconvenient at times. Whereas if I just didn't have armrests, I'd, I'd be able to kind of sit how I like and not have to worry about it. Could be good. Could be good. But I'd have to get a new desk before that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll make a new desk. It's not hard to make a desk, right? It's hard to make like a, a super fancy desk with all these drawers and everything. But like just to make a desk, it's not hard. You get you get a big you get you know you go buy a piece of you know wood, 
that is the size that you want your desktop to be, right? You you buy some like table legs. You attach the table legs to the piece of wood that you bought and there's your table, you know, add some kind of finish or whatever. Or mouse pads and stuff or whatever and then you're good to go, right? Like it's not a it's not a super complicated process, really. This cat's back in the game. I make one that's super nice is is the complicated thing. I'd like to make one that's super nice. I would like to make one that's super nice, but I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of uh, complicated. I have a dream desk. It's a bit of a unicorn, but I could make it if I if I put time in to learn how to like. You know, work with wood and stuff, woodworking and stuff. You know, I could, I could learn how to, to make my dream desk. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a complicated thing. To make like a, a dream desk, you know. I mean, unless your dream desk is just a slab of wood topped on top of like four posts, possibly five, depending on how wide it is. You know, because you have to concern yourself with some, you know, bowing. If you got like a post here, a post here post over here and one there and then a big plank of wood in between it's gonna kind of bow in the middle when you put weight on it right so you have to add some kind of support there it could be like posts leaning off of the the posts adding some some structural integrity um, but would, would probably just end up being like a fifth post kind of in the middle at the back to, to add a little bit of integrity there and then uh, kind of uh, extend some some bits of wood off of that to, uh, support the uh, the front side of the desk as well but not you know in interrupt or or get in the way of uh, of your uh, your legs and stuff when you're trying to sit at the desk it's not a, it's not a complicated desk what I want honestly my uh, my dream desk I'd have to like buy a house first my dream desk is integrated into the house, okay? I don't want I don't want any uh, I don't want any posts off the ground. I want it to be hanging off the wall. So you'd be able to do that by having like some braces on the wall that the thing kind of rests on, and then also some stuff hanging from maybe the ceiling or the wall from above to kind of support the front of it a little bit. And then uh, you could kind of fold it up fairly easily as well, and you know, like that's that's kind of my dream desk where it just kind of can get folded up, extended, added to, you know, like a little little bit more um a little bit more freedom with it is is important to me. But that's again, like it's kind of integrated into the house. I need to need to own a house and uh, buying a house in this economy. Good luck. Maybe maybe one day on YouTube I'll make it uh, I'll make it big and I'll be rich and I'll be able to afford a house. And when I do, Believe you me, I'm making my dream desk. But, uh... Not right now. <laughs> my uh, my total net worth is uh, not even close to what I would need for a down payment on a house. Let alone, like... You know, my spendable wealth being adequate enough to, to make a down payment. My entire being isn't worth enough <laughs> to make a down payment on a house out here. Not on a, you know, decent mortgage in a decent place. I could go find, like, the most rundown backwater, like, area around here. And buy, like, a super cheap house that has, like, holes in it and and, and crap. And, uh, and you know, maybe, maybe go for some shady loan shark kind of stuff. But, like, you know... No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, there, there's, there's a minimum standard of quality that I kind of, uh expect from from a housing purchase I expect all of the walls to be there for one I expect the neighborhood to not be one where there's murders every you know every other week I expect robberies in the area to be uh, fairly uncommon you know like that those are the kinds of things that uh, that I expect out of uh, out of a house that I'm gonna be buying, and, and anything, and you know, you, 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 I can pick maybe one 
can't afford it. I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't afford to have uh, all of those criteria met. Ooh, we just got a doorbell ring. I'm guessing my sister just came home. I think she was out uh, locking up for work, and she said uh, when she, when she left, she was like, "Can I leave the door unlocked?" And my mother's like, "Yeah, sure." I think somebody locked the door on her. <laughs> or can, yeah, can I leave the door unlocked? And then somebody, I guess. Look, the door. It's dinner right now. I just got the the message uh, maybe ten minutes ago. So I'm I'm guessing uh, my father came back in after working in his workshop, locked the door behind him, and my sister got locked out, <laughs> which is uh, humorous. Nothing I can do about it. I'm recording. I'm busy, dude. Somebody else will get it. Interrupt their precious dinner. We're having a uh, we're having a roast beef. My mother, I'm probably not gonna be eating it, but that's what dinner is today. It was uh, attempt 160 about two hours ago. My mother left it in the in the crock pot on keep warm, so I'm I'm expecting the temperature to be somewhere around well done right now, and uh, I'm expecting it to be a fairly not pleasant experience to to consume. <laughs> Uh, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's a nice gravy or something to go with it. Some mashed potatoes or rice or something. Might be uh, some sides I can enjoy. I don't think the the roast beef itself is going to be good. It was like two hours ago. She left it on keep warm, and it's like, yeah, keep warm. When when you're leaving it in the same thing that was already at like, there's still some residual heat. It's still going to continue to cook it past the point and it was like 160 is already a little bit too high for a roast I'd say so like it's really gonna be quite well done it was like 160 or whatever my mom was like it's still a little bit raw <laughs> like what do you mean it's raw it's overcooked <laughs> it's already overcooked so I don't I don't know I don't uh, I don't expect that the dinner tonight is gonna be something I'm gonna enjoy so much that's okay. I don't have to enjoy the food they make. They have to enjoy it, you know? If I make the food I want, or if I make food, I'm making food I want. If they make food, they don't have to make food I want. I can make my own thing. But I, I, I'm i mostly just open for some mashed potatoes, really. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.